Okay, good morning, everybody. Are there any uh, non-Dutch speakers here in the audience? Please raise your hands. Okay, I'll do it in English for you, so especially for you and you. Okay, good morning. Um, uh, my name is Carlo Klerk. I, I work for Achmea, uh, the largest insurance company in the Netherlands. And my job there is I'm an IT security professional, uh, which is the professional term for a hacker, um, which means I break into computer systems to try and find faults. And if I find them, I help fix them. Um, but that's not why I'm here today, uh, although it, it kind of uh, there, there's, a, there's a, a similarity there because uh, we are organizing a hackathon today, as, as do many other people. And uh, I'd like to uh, uh, challenge you with this hackathon, but first I will tell you a story uh, why I challenge you. Um, and we start with this, I'm standing in front of the screen. Uh, this is the tiny little village in the north of the Netherlands called Achlem, and this is the root of Achmea uh, insurance. In 1811, uh, there were a couple, a handful of farmers here which realized that if their barn burned down, there were they were bankrupt. So they made up a plan to make sure they could uh, exist even after their uh, uh, barn burned down by uh, making a, 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 a bag of money together. So if one person's barn burned down, the rest of the people together uh, uh, made a lot of money and made sure the people, uh, the person could uh, raise the barn again. It's called insurance, but that was the first actual uh, uh, insurance uh, uh, company that existed there. We're only five people. If you lived outside the area, tough luck. Uh, only these five uh, persons uh, did this. Uh, uh, two years after this started uh, existing, one of the barns burned down and they had raised enough money to uh, um, yeah, uh, um, pay out 75% of the cost needed to, uh, to build the barn once again. And this was as agreed. So this was a great success. Uh, 200 years later, uh, we are here, we're Achmea, and uh, we are the largest insurance company in the Netherlands, which is kind of a big deal. But the thing is, this existed because of a thing called solidarity. So this, these are only a handful of people. They had the, like, uh, 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 the same mission, the same objectives. And they, they thought out, okay, if we work together and we put money together, we can help each other. It may be that I, I never have a problem, but I'm paying for your problem, but it, it goes both ways. So um, uh, this is solidarity. And this is also a phenomena, phenomenon that is still counting in insurance in the Netherlands today. We all pay healthcare, so if you have a problem, you get insured. Even if I never have a problem, I'm still paying. But it is this is what insurance is about. Um, and we still see this. Now, uh, uh, 200 years later, Achmea is a little bigger than only five farmers. Uh, we are the largest insurance company, as I said. You, you see here a number of numbers with uh, how many customers we have. Health insurance in the Netherlands, one out of three Dutch uh, inhabitants is a, is a customer with Achmea. One out of four uh, vehicles in the Netherlands is insured by Achmea. The majority of pavements and roads is insured by Achmea. It's pretty big. We have Interpolis, which is one of our major labels, who is uh, paying out 250,000 euros every hour for damage insurance. So that's every four hours, one million euros. It's a lot of money. So uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, currency involved there. We are, we are huge. Um, for for Dutch uh, uh, things, okay. Uh, what you see here, uh, we have about nine uh, nine large locations in the Netherlands, so nine huge office buildings, uh, sixteen thousand employees who work there, who drive up and down to their work again uh, every day. We have um, um, uh, yeah all, all sorts. We have IT administration, people who think up new insurance things. Sixteen thousand people. So these are a lot of people, and these people and these buildings they cost a lot of money. So uh, there's a lot of overhead here because everybody who's driving up and down from the work has to have their uh, mileage paid. Um, uh, the buildings have to be rented and cleaned and everything. So there's a lot of money there, which does not actually go into insurance, but into making sure this thing can exist. But this is very expensive. Um, and this is what this uh, challenge is about. What if you could do it yourself? How can we get rid of these insurance companies and this big overhead and make it smaller, just like the farmers did? So just five people who put money together to save their barns if it burns down. Um, how can we do this uh, ourselves, but now in this present day with modern technology? How can you make sure, can, you, can we think of something that um, um, makes a group of people able to insure something themselves without being dependent on Achmea? This is quite a challenge, and we'd like uh, you to build something or think of a, uh, a theory or a methodology for people to um, um, group together and uh, insure via the crowd instead of via an insurance company. Does this make sense? Yeah, okay, thanks. Um, so do it yourself. This is, the, this is the target. Now, there are a few rules of engagement here because you cannot, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, you have to uh, take into consideration a few problems which come with assurance and why these insurance companies are so big. The first one, privacy. 
because we're talking about a lot of data for, from people, especially for Armea with so many customers. We know a lot about every, every customer. So we have to make sure this is uh, uh, guarded and your privacy is, is, is uh, safe. And the data that we have from our customers is used solely to service these customers and for nothing else. So uh, uh, if you build something for yourself, even though it may be a smaller crowd that you're insuring, you still have to make sure that if you put data for these people together, you have to respect their privacy and ensure their privacy. Um, so this is a big deal. You have to take this into account. Also, security, which goes kind of hand in hand, uh, but if you build something, and it may be new technology, it may be an app, it may be whatever you want, but whatever it is, it, it should not be able to abuse it. So if you build something, you have to build it safe. There's a thing called secure development or secure design. When you start thinking about doing this for, uh, uh, um, like uh, this insurance uh, in, in this manner, so instead of using Armea, build something yourself for the crowd, you still have to think about security from the moment you start thinking about it and while you're building it. So this is also a big deal. Um, also, there's a, a, a rules of, of engagement. Um, I said I was a hacker, but for this assignment, you cannot hack an insurance company. What we have to do is we have to abide by the law. So no uh, uh, stealing data from insurance or bringing them down with denial of service attacks or anything. Um, we have to make them obsolete by developing a service that is better and more efficient uh, and manageable than the insurance company does. So no, to clarify this, leave insurance companies alone. Okay. Uh, also... Uh, I hope uh, the point is clear. Yeah, so whatever you can think to do this, everything is, uh, is okay, uh, but there are a few handhelds which may help you. But on the end, to tomorrow, between 2 and 3 o'clock, if you have a great idea or you work something out, you can demonstrate it, you have a pitch for it. You have three minutes, so you can uh, uh, you, you best prepare for this. The better the pitch is, the better the impression. Um, if, uh, and if you need help with the presentation or want to try it, you can come to me and I'll help you. Um, the winner will get 2,500 euros uh, traveler's check, so uh, the, the team can go anywhere you want with a traveler's check for 2,500 euros. And also 2,500 euros goes to a, a good cause of your choice, but it should be an official good cause. So uh, y you like the, the bar tab on your uh, holiday location is not the good cause. You have the other 2,500 euros for this. Also, which may be interesting, and, and, and there may be a hook for this challenge, from uh, 4 till 5 in the creati Creativity and Social Impact Workshop space, there's a, a, a workshop about uh, blockchain, and you may consider blockchain in, uh, uh, you know, involve this in a part of this solution. Um, are there any questions? No questions? Does it make sense? Do you want to? Ch uh, do you like this challenge? Do you want to do it? And hands for if you see something in this challenge. Yeah, one, two. Okay. Are you a group? Are you a group? You want to form a group? Okay. All right. All right. Well, if you like it, uh, we are here. So if you uh, want to get involved, come over to us and we'll, uh, we'll get started, right? Okay. That's it. Good luck. Thank you. I think next up is...